Hi, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to introduce depth of field in Blender to help you create more cinematic renders. Here I have a character model with textures and shaders. Press 0 to switch to the camera view. Press Z and select render to switch to the render mode. I'm using the cycle render engine. It's good, but not perfect. I should try to get it closer to a movie shot. I need to add some blurriness to these areas. This effect can only be achieved using depth of field. Select the camera and navigate to the camera options. Then activate the depth of field option. Let's explain depth of field. This effect can add blur to a specific distance from the camera. In this image, 10 meters is specified to the camera as the depth of field distance, which means everything is blurred up to a distance of 10 meters from the camera. And beyond that distance within a specific range, I can see everything without the blur effect. And then the blur will appear again till the end of the scene. As you can see, I have applied depth of field in some areas, such as the cloud. But I can't see the face clearly without any blur. The distance is set to 10 meters. Return to the free lock by pressing the zero key. I can see the face clearly, indicating that the distance from the camera to the face is 10 meters. And after 12 meters, for example, the blur effect will start to appear. Let's change it to 5. Now the entire body is out of the depth of field distance. Let's change it to 15. Now I can see the cloud clearly, and face is blurred. Let's switch back to 10. I have another field here called focus object. Select the eyedropper icon and choose an object like the face. Note the dynamic distance is active based on the face model. It means that the distance will be calculated based on the pivot point. Because of that, the face is still blurred. If you zoom out the camera, the blur value will not increase since the distance is changing dynamically. Alright, let's remove the focus object. Another technique is to add an empty object to assign to the focus object. Shift A and then empty and plane axis to add an empty object. I can assign this object to the focus object and dynamically change the distance. I want to focus on the face so I should move the object right here. I need to rename it to focus point. Alright, select the camera and assign the focus point to it. Ok, go to the camera view using the zero key and then activate the render mode using the Z key. The camera is now focused on the face. Let's move the focus object. As you can see, the face is blurred while the cloud is not blurred. Let's move it further away. Everything is blurred. As you move the focus point further away, 
you can achieve more blurriness. Dynamically changing the distance is beneficial for animations because everything will be continuously changing. I don't need the focus point anymore. Let's revert the distance to 10. Another fill is the f-stop under the aperture submenu. I can say that the f-stop determines the intensity of the depth of field. If I reduce it, I can achieve a greater blur effect. Let's change it to 1. I can hardly see any blur effect. Ok, let's change it back to 0.3. The rest of the fields are not implementable in this scene. Let's move on to another project. It's only a city image. Let's activate depth of field. Plates only work on lens flares. Let's change it to 3. I can see many triangles. By increasing the plate's value, I can get other shapes. Each number represents a specific shape. The rotation value can change the rotation of each bokeh. And ratio is the vertical stretch of each point in the blurred area. Let's try a large value. Good, I can't implement blades in this scene since I don't have a lens flare, but I can work with the ratio. Let's reduce the f-stop to increase the blurriness. Ok, let's change the ratio to see the differences. Now the blurred areas are stretched vertically. Let's compare them. Ok, let's return all the values back. For the final work, let's implement the depth of field for another camera. This is a good view. The distance is not good, I want to see the face clearly. Good. Let's increase it more. Now everything near the camera is blurred. Let's see the final result. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments.